the heart of a dense forest, nestled between ancient trees and forgotten paths, lay a small, isolated town shrouded in mystery. The only way to stumble upon it was to lose oneself entirely. And that's precisely what happened to the Smith family. John and Emily Smith, along with their two children, Lucy and Michael, embarked on a journey through the wilderness, seeking solace in nature and adventure. But as dusk fell, their path became obscured, and they found themselves ensnared in the labyrinth of the unknown. After hours of wandering aimlessly, their car sputtered to a halt, the engine dying with a final gasp. With no sign of civilization in sight, the family set out on foot, hoping to stumble upon a road or a friendly face. But what they discovered was far from friendly. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the trees seemed to close in around them, whispering secrets of the forgotten town. Finally, through the thick foliage, they glimpsed the flickering lights of a settlement. Relieved, they hurried towards it, only to be met with eerie silence as they entered the town square. The buildings were dilapidated, their windows boarded up, and an unsettling stillness hung in the air. Before they could turn back, they were approached by the townsfolk, strange, blind figures with milky eyes that seemed to pierce through the darkness. Their leader, an old man named Ezekiel, welcomed the smiths with a toothless grin, offering them shelter for the night. Desperate and with no other option, the family accepted, unaware of the horrors that awaited them. They soon realized that the town's residents were not as helpless as they appeared. Despite their blindness, they moved with uncanny precision, their other senses heightened to a supernatural degree. As the days passed, the Smiths found themselves trapped in a nightmare. The townsfolk treated them like prized possessions, selling them off to the highest bidder without remorse. Each night, they whispered tales of the town's dark history, of rituals performed under the cover of darkness, and deals struck with entities beyond human comprehension. Driven by fear and desperation, the Smiths plotted their escape, gathering whatever supplies they could scavenge under the watchful eyes of their captors. But as they made their final bid for freedom, they discovered the true horror lurking beneath the town's facade. Beneath the streets lay a network of tunnels filled with unspeakable creatures that thrived in the darkness. And at the heart of it all stood Ezekiel, his once jovial demeanor twisted into a grotesque mask of madness. With their lives hanging in the balance, the Smiths fought tooth and nail to break free from the town's grasp, their screams echoing through the labyrinth and passages as they struggled to outrun the darkness closing in around them. In the end, only one of them would emerge from the depths of the forest, a shell of their former self, haunted by the memories of the town of the blind and the horrors that lurked within. And as they stumbled back into the light, they vowed never to speak of their ordeal, lest the darkness come creeping back once more.